Welcome to another tutorial. Today we will learn how you can set up your NetBeans environment and you can set it up for JavaFX. First of all, you have to make sure that Java is installed on your computer. In order to do that, you have to open your file explorer. You have to go to the C drive and in the C drive is where you will look for under program files a folder called Java. That's where you should see JDK installed. Now, I have JDK 22, which is not the latest edition of JDK, but that's what I would like to install next, the latest edition of JDK. To install the latest edition of JDK, I am visiting Google and I am searching for download Java. And don't go to java.com, rather go to oracle.com Java downloads. And that's where you can find JDK 24. Under JDK 24, you can find your operating system. If you're using Windows, you can choose Windows. I will show you in a separate video how to do the installation for a Mac OS, so stay tuned for that video as well. So I'm going under Windows and I am choosing the installer to install Java on my machine. So click on the executable file. It will download to your local computer and then you can simply uh, once it's done, you can click on it and start the installation process. So once JDK is downloaded, you can click on the installation file to begin the installation. Once JDK is installed, it's now about time to download NetBeans. For that, we will revisit Google and we will look for NetBeans download. You can click on Apache NetBeans releases or you can go to downloading Apache NetBeans. Well, this is version 22, which is not the latest version. I would recommend you go to Apache NetBeans releases. That will take you directly to the latest version, which is NetBeans 25. Let's click download to download. Now, if you are using Windows, you can use the Windows executable file, but if you're using Apple, or, or Mac OS, then you can use the PKG version, but for now I'll use EXE file for Windows, and then I will click the executable file to run Windows installation. Once this file is downloaded, I will run the executable file to download NetBeans, then I will show you how you can set up your NetBeans environment to run JavaFX. Now that the NetBeans have downloaded, I am clicking on the executable file to begin the installation. Simply accept the licensing agreement and then you can install NetBeans 25. Once the installation is done, you can hit the finish button. You can look for Apache NAT NetBeans IDE on your computer and you want to import them. It found on your system, like for example, in my system, I had uh, the older version of NetBeans installed. So if you want to import, you can import. If you do not want to import, you can just simply hit no. It will just open IDE, the, the latest IDE. Uh, and now we will be setting this up for JavaFX. So now for that, I'm opening uh, Java with Ant. Then I click on JavaFX and I click on JavaFX application. So as I hit next, and it asks me to activate JavaFX or download and activate. So I can just click and download and activate. And let's install the JavaFX environment here. And it's activating JavaFX2 for me. Now it gives me a problem that I do not have the JavaFX platform installed. And this is the problem that a lot of you may face when you just only install Java and NetBeans uh, and don't install the JavaFX. So let me show you how you can solve this problem. To solve this problem, once again, open the web browser and then let's go to this website, zulu.org, Z-U-L-U dot org. It will redirect you to azul.com. 
And this is where you will choose your Java. We installed Java 24, so that's what I'm choosing, Java 24. Then you will choose your operating system. I'm picking Windows from the list. Architecture, it's 64-bit. Uh, and instead of JDK, this is a very important step. You need to make sure that you choose JDK FX. And then you click the download. And then you can click the zip to download the zip file. So let's download the zip file. It's beginning to download. And as soon as it's done, I'll tell you what are the next set of steps to set up the NetBeans uh, for JavaFX. Now that the Zulu has been downloaded, I need to um, unzip the zip file. So you can simply go to your downloads folder and then you can extract all. And this will unzip it. Once the unzip process is done, uh, this will give you an unzipped folder of Zulu. Let's now go back to NetBeans and we will click under Tools menu and we will click under Java Platforms. And then we will click on Add Platform button and then uh, on Java Standard Edition is the option that you will choose. Just click Next. And then let's browse to the Downloads folder. And in the Downloads folder, click on the Zulu file, open it, and then you got to make sure that you choose the Zulu executable file because, the, I mean, like, this is important for you to be able to set up the environment. So you got to hit Next here. It will automatically select the JDK24. It will automatically select the folder for you and everything. You get just got to make sure that you don't delete this folder. So if you think that you will be deleting this folder in the downloads folder, then uh, first move it to a location where you will not delete it from. So that's very important. And then you will hit the finish. Once you hit the finish, you will see that you have two versions of JDK24. One is the default version, and one is the one that I just downloaded. And you can easily see the difference. I will click on the JDK default, and you can see that the platform folder is the Java JDK24. But when you click on JDK24, the first one, platform folder is Zulu. So we need this one. So let me hit close here. And now uh, let's start a new project again. So go under Java with AND, click JavaFX, choose JavaFX application. And then as you hit next, uh, we will leave the, this default name. But if you want to change it, you can change it to whatever name you want to change it to. Uh, just uh, hit finish after that. And we're just waiting for it to create the new project. So once a new cr project gets created, you will see uh, in the Project Explorer, uh, the new project is there, uh, and you will see source packages. Under source package, you will see the file. It already writes some basic stuff for you so that you can easily test to see if your JavaFX is ready to go. I will right click on my JavaFX environment and hit the run file. And it will execute this file for me and will give me the output, which is here you can see right here that this is my JavaFX application. Now, if you are setting up this environment for Eclipse, I've already made that video available to you. So you can check that video as well. But this is to set up your NetBeans environment. And as I told you that I will also be sharing with you um, how to set it up on a Mac. Uh, very similar steps for Mac. Uh, maybe slight variations, little bit of difference between the two environments. But for the most part, you will find it that it's, it works exactly the same way.